Hello there, my name is Ingus from Ideas Electronics and today we're gonna jump on a new drive and that drive is manufactured by <coughs> uh, Control Techniques and it's Commander C200 Weird name, Commander <coughs> But it's what it is uh, So yeah, this is, uh, this is uh, one of their um, uh, top end drives I think that what they have is it's coming for a hefty price tag for what it is because you can get these kind of single because this is a single phase drive it's 1.5 kilowatt and uh, is, is double the price what normally other drives are uh, so I'm definitely keen to find out what is so special about it I always like uh, control techniques drive they're very robust very st uh, strong and then it lasts for a bloody long time and then they definitely have proven to in the market that they are leaders in developing a really substantially great drive that uh, can stand some serious serious punch so uh, <clears throat> in the first video we're going to be looking at uh, setting up the motor parameters into the drive, getting all the basic parameters in, trying to drive in a local mode, and probably going to do the auto teach, auto learn, because this one's definitely got nice auto learn as well. And then in the second video, we're going to look at the remote mode. We're going to try two wire, three wire, as typical with the potentiometer. And the third, we're going to do a, um, uh, we're going to play around with the multi frequency, how to get that one going again, more or, more or less uh, the uh, input output the reprogramming, then uh, no, more the input the input reprogramming. And that's pretty much that's what we're going to be doing in the next upcoming videos. So before we get ahead, if you like the video, smash that like, subscribe, and it greatly helps out the channel. And without further ado, let's crack on. Alrighty, folks, now we got all that set up, all the drive is powered up. One thing I gotta tell you, this drive is a hungry on. RCD. As soon as I put the RCD on with my earth attached to the drive, she bang, my RCD went out. Because it, this is the home supply and I've got only 30 milliamps uh, RCD, so unfortunately it looks like this drive does not like the 30 milliamp RCD. So uh, drives are known to be uh, common to this, so if your drive is tripping out on your normal household RCD, so you, it means you need to remove the RCD or up your RCD in uh, to 100 or 300 milliamp. In uh, most of the industry where I work for, we were usually were putting 300 milliamp on all drive operating machinery. So down to you how you uh, deal with that. But if that's if that's happening, that's what's causing the trip. Is that uh, this is whatever that is. It's just doesn't like RCD at 30 milliamp. So that's that. Other than that, I remove the RCD and, and I mean I remove the earth. It's no longer touching my uh, earth, uh, earth part of it, so uh, it's okay now with the RCD. So the wiring you see down there is uh, a line in the neutral, uh, both marked quite clearly, brown and blue, and uh, UVW right in the bottom from this end, one, two, and three. You be careful not to mix these up because that's so easy to put the cable in the wrong place. Make sure you check out those uh, UV and W. Make sure that is in the spot. And the next thing we need to do, let's get this drive rolling. And uh, I'll tell you one thing, the manual at the beginning is a bit of a hard one to get your head around. But once you do, is actually once you start understanding the way they de uh, were developing the, the manual, you're pretty uh, good to go. So the first thing, because I've been playing around quite a lot already, so first thing we're going to do, we're going to reset the damn thing. So uh, just get everything loaded back to factory, reset. Uh, click on the uh, enter go down to zero enter and then uh, enter once that splashing you just keep going until you uh, reach that is called uh, what's it called the uh, def the default 50 so basically there's two types of defaults you can default 60 and default 50 depending on which country and what frequency are you using uh, it will reset the, the, all the parameters to that uh, default setting. So I am in UK and we are 50 and to accept that you just have to press enter and stop. So see now you return back to none. So now the drive has been fully reset. Now that we have reset that one, so uh, let's uh, change some parameters. Now we need to add the edit of the motor data into the motor and pretty much a um, sort of auto-tune the motor to the drive. I'm going to talk about auto-tune in a minute. So first let's, yeah, let's change that to go to all the parameters. 
So let's change to make sure we see as much as parameters we can for this setup. At level one, we'll show you they show you first ten parameters. Level two, we'll show you all the group is zero parameters, and uh, level uh, three, which is all, will uh, pretty much allow you to do all the parameters. So uh, we're gonna just go to the all for the purposes. Why not? So press enter. And uh, so now it just shows us all, all parameters. Now when you exit, as you can see, we can jump like that. When you do that, when you go back in, and you can click enter, it goes to, this is the parameters. And if you do that, you jump in a group, pretty much that's how it is, just go into like that. And I uh, believe you can sort of get back to zero by clicking up and down together. So that's another feature that you can do. So the first thing we're gonna need to do in enter is enter all the motor parameters. Actually on this data plate, they actually, Put down quite a nice uh, little little thing. What they what they call a uh, uh, sort of the necessary parameters to enter things like that. So you will need your uh, motor data plate. And uh, in my in in the sequence the way I do it, more minimum speed which be parameter one. So if you go parameter one and uh, minimum speed, I usually leave it zero. And the next one, it shows uh, that 0, 1, and now we just, just exit that one. Next one is going to be 0, 2, which is going to be maximum speed. Well, I'm running the motor at 50 hertz, so why not? So 50 hertz, that's correct. And then we're going to acceleration to acceleration. We're not going to touch that. And the fifth, uh, fifth is drive conversion, not to do that. And motor rated current, which is going to be 6. So that'll be the next one we're going to do. Motor rate current, obviously I am at 1.98, so enter that one. Actually, uh, there's a way to get to those numbers quickly, but I usually do that, like I still mess around, pressing and press, pressing the button. So I'm gonna send to uh, 1.98, so uh, 1.98 is my motor rated current. We enter that one. And the next one we're gonna do motor rated voltage, which is a uh, now motor rated speed, which is seven. So uh, let's go up and motor rated speed. My one is uh, one thousand three hundred and eighty. Again, you all that information you can find out on your motor data plate. So three hundred and come on. Oh my God! Now it's going really to the mini numbers. Oh my God, we overshot that one. Come on. Ah, rough idea, you just need, don't need to be very specific of it. Come on. I'll do specific. There we go, so I entered that one. The next one is motivated rated voltage, which is eight. Enter that one, I'm 230, correct, I don't need to do that. Moderate the voltage, and then he wants a power factor, which is uh, some drives do request that, some drives don't, and that's pretty much so he can correct it pretty much when he when he runs it. So uh, the, you can find that as a cost sign on your uh, on your drive, it literally has a, a cost a symbol on it. And my cost symbol is 0 0.7, gosh, that's horrible. So uh, that was in uh, nine. So I my my ooh keep forgetting clicking that thingy and zero point seven. That is my and uh, uh, the. Uh, motor uh, rated power factor. Uh, that's for the actual motor data plate. We have actually entered the, the, all the data required and now we're going to be needing to perform the auto tune, which is uh, there's a couple of options which I'm going to talk through you now. The tune is performed on uh, parameter 38. It's basically a tune the motor to the drive so he knows how to correct the power factor and, uh, and, and, and make sure everything else is in, in, intact and it sort of learns everything that he can. That would be the simplest way I could explain it without getting in too much into detail. Uh, let's go to 38, parameter 38. Uh, that's obviously in a group 00. zero. In 38, and there is two types of a, uh, let's see, how many times are you going there? Oh my God, I keep forgetting to do that. And to change that, we got one, two, 
Yeah, yeah, this one's got only two. There's another one, a different type, it's got that, three on there. So the first one is actually the what they call the uh, stationary auto tune, and it can be only used when motor is loaded and is not possible to remove the load from the motor shaft. So if you have the motor connected to something and is under the load at all times, you would need to select one. But in my case, you can see my little motor in here. It's not loaded, so I, I will need to go for the option two, which is a uh, rotating auto tune and should only be used if the motor is unloaded. So we need two. Pretty, pretty good explanation for that. And now we need to uh, perform, uh, enable the drive and actually start, put the, st uh, uh, put, the, put the drive into the start mode. So let me get that done and uh, we'll proceed. Well, we have done that. Uh, let's uh, see if we can perform this auto tune. I have done my wiring. Uh, you need an able signal for this one. Unfortunately, this is one of the drives has an able signal, so uh, I don't really understand why they always have that. Because okay, there's some features for it, but I don't know. So uh, your source is going to be your terminal number nine, where your 24 volt is going to come out. My 24 volts come to the both of the selector switches, once for the enabling and once for the starting. So that's pretty much both the signals I need to do. And then those two cables from the start and enable go to a 11 is enable and a 12 is a start. So uh, let's exit. You go all the way back to the normal screen. You enable the drive and set the drive in the run mode. And that should go into this, uh, what we call the tuning mode. So now it's just tuning the motor. We have to wait till that finishes. So it does all sorts of different. So once it's done, it goes back to an image. So you need to remove the start signal, you enable, and from there on, when you put enable back on, it's ready to go again. And that's ladies and gentlemen, that's how we get the auto tune done. The next thing we're going to look at is how to run the drive from an actual keypad in here, change the frequency and things like that as well. That we are going to need to go to parameter 5. Go to parameter 5, just got to go, oh, let's get that one back. And uh, let's get back down to number parameter 5. There's also, also so in the parameter 5, you can see there's also so different parameter controls. You can now look at the manual and they all really clearly explain what each thing does. The one we need is called pad. Oh, I always do that. Come on, enter. Yeah, let's find the pad. Once we found the pad, as you can see, a little light comes on in here. Which, yeah, you can see that. And it says you're in, it's in, it is sort of in a, in a, in a local mode. So exit, exit that, as you can see, it still says inhibit or whatever you call this thing. You're still going to need to have this enabled thing here. So I have a little, woo, little wire down there. So we're going to close that enable signal. If you're always use, going to be using it like that, you can always keep that enable on. Some people always do that. And let's join up with the 11. So we're 11 up. And now, as you can see, the drives. Oh, going into wrong hole. There you go. It's ready to go. And now you can pretty much start the drive on that. So, for whatever reason, it looks like. Oh yeah. And you can up to your frequency with your buttons. Up and down. And that uh, should completely stall. Uh, it doesn't allow the motor to stop because of a uh, minimum frequency. So, uh, if, for whatever reason, I've never seen drives do that. They usually just go into stop mode, but this drive doesn't seem to want to go to the zero. I think it still continues to run even though you have lowered the frequency to be zero. That's very interesting. So let's just move up a little bit. So that's 10 frequency. It's very interesting. I've never seen drives doing that. I don't know. I think that's showing the 
one of these parameters. Not sure what that's what that what it's showing down there. What other? Oh, the process percentage it shows the percentage of it of something. I don't know what that is, but either way, there you go. Let's ramp it up back to 50. My acceleration is got the acceleration. We're gonna look at that in the next video when we can do it with a uh, remote control. But that's how pretty much you control the drive uh, for from the front keypad. And the same thing you can do that in the stopping the drive. Okay, that is taking a long time to stop because of the acceleration is still, I believe, is in ten seconds. Oh, five, no, it's for five seconds. Yeah, this iteration is in 10 seconds. So that will be it. How to set this drive up, get pretty much get you going, get this enabled. And if you wish to run the drive from the fully from the control panel and you don't want to mess around with any buttons and things like that, that's how you do it. So that will be it. If you liked the video, please like and uh, thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next video.